Because what we've learned with regard to Brexit is that the people who have essentially driven us to this ludicrous pass are the people who never question their own intelligence. This is the beauty of being Andrew Bridgen or uh, uh, Mark Francois or Digby Jones. It, 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 this, I think it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, where you're not bright enough to realise how dumb you are. That, that and cognitive dissonance. The Dunning-Kruger effect and cognitive dissonance will be the two halves of a looming thesis on how the hell this madness happened. But it's not over. I think we're back to where we were the middle of last year when I told you that I couldn't see how it was going to shake down as anything other than no deal or no Brexit. I think we're back there. But I, I thought... I, I, I thought there was a possibility when I heard the voices this morning and heard the tone this morning on other programs, a possibility that it would get through. And then I thought the reality, the legal reality, the detail, the evidence, the fact-based analysis means there's no chance at all that it's going to get through. So what this morning has really been about was the question of whether or not Jeffrey Cox would, I think we can say this now, can't we? Would Jeffrey Cox actually ignore his own legal opinion and tell Theresa May what she wanted to hear? And to his credit, he hasn't. We're very short of heroes at the moment, and I don't know that this is good news or bad news for Brexiters or Remainers, but it's good news for people who believe in the rule of law, people who believe in rules-based institutions, people who believe in experts. Geoffrey Cox has assessed all of the evidence and concluded something that the Prime Minister did not want him to conclude. And do you want to know something? Come here a minute. That's why unelected experts are a really good thing. If they can insulate themselves from political influence, they keep democracy safe and healthy.